Hi my lovely viewers It's Prissy Prissy again and I welcome you back to my channel Thanks for always tuning in whenever you receive a notification on your tablet You know it's a great pleasure to feel that someone out there is always eagerly waiting for my new uploads Um, if you, uh, if you are new to this channel you are most welcome please just feel at home as you are in the right place after watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel um if you feel like there is something missing out in this video you can hit me up in the comment section and i will always get back to you thank you today i came across a very interesting plant with very pretty flowers um i'm sure most of you are well versed with this kind of plant because it's found almost everywhere i mean whenever you go uh, you can always find it um be it in people's compounds um on the roadsides people who are into floriculture you can always find it on their nursery beds so it's almost everywhere but this is what most people don't know they think that it's just a flower but can i surprise you this plant has its own medicinal uses just keep tuned in This plant is botanically named as Pinka Rose or uh, you can call it Cathrathus roseus. The other common names for this plant include Madagascar Perunco, Bright Eyes, Cape Perunco, Gravia plant, old maid, pink perunco, and finally, mato. Scientifically, when you go to the classification of this plant, um, it falls under the plant kingdom. Its class is uh, called Magnoliopsida and then when you go to the order um, it's uh, known as Gentianelis and its family is called Cosmesia and when you go to the genus um, it's called Pathrathus and then finally when you go to the species it's called Rosias Characteristically, when you look at this plant, uh, first of all, it's a perennial plant and it grows to a height of 1 to 3 feet. When you look at its stem, it's erect, cylindrical, and branched. Um, when you go down to the root, uh, it has a tap root. Uh, looking at the leaves, uh, they are simple and opposite. The uh, seal on the leaves, they, they are also small, glossy, and dark green. Um, when you look at the flowers, they are pedicellate and bracteate. Uh, these flowers are found in different colors, um, except pink, white, blue, purple, and violet. Um, its fruit is a pair of 
Don't get it for you. Pink Horse is native to North America, Europe, India, and China. It's also found in Southern Asia and tropical countries. And that is what we have to remove from the southern of the tropical countries. Pink Horse is a plant of immense medicinal value. All part of the plant is medicinally important. However, alkaloids are mostly concentrated in the roots bark. These include three important alkaloids of the Ovofia group which are Ajumelicin, Resapine and Serpentine. The pink rose is used in both Ayurvedic medicine and Chinese medicine. In Chinese medicine, the extract of the plant is used for diseases such as diabetes, malaria, leukemia, and Hodgkin's disease. In traditional medicine, the leaf juice has been used to treat wasp skin, a gargle is used for sore throat, flower extracts are used for infant eye wash. Finally, Pinkarose is a popular ornamental plant and is cultivated worldwide for its attractive flowers and glossy foliage. Uh, it's often used in floral arrangements and bouquets. Um, in some cultures, it's considered as a symbol of friendship, happiness and loyalty. Um, in addition to what has been mentioned above, uh, the plant extract is used as a natural dye for fabric. Um, it's also sometimes uh, used as fodder for livestock. I mean, uh, the leaves are edible and can provide nutrition. That's what I had for you about pink carrots. Thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye bye.